Eleanor Roosevelt had an active political career in her own right. She pushed the boundaries of what it meant to be a first lady. Eleanor Roosevelt came from a New York aristocratic family. Her father was Teddy Roosevelt's brother. She meets Franklin Roosevelt. They get married in 1905. Franklin Roosevelt is her fifth cousin. She gave birth to six children. In 1918, she discovers her husband is having an affair. And that is when childbearing and marital intimacy come to an end. She lived a separate life. He lived a separate life, but the relationship with her husband evolved where they were well and truly partners. Eleanor Roosevelt really innovated the first lady's role as a public communicator. She wrote thousands of columns, 27 books. She participated in hundreds of radio shows. When she came into the White House, one of the first things she did was to establish women-only press conferences. So all the reporters who covered her who came to the White House were female. She would give them tidbits about White House life that the male press corps wasn't getting. It saved a lot of newspaper women's jobs. During World War II, she traveled to the front lines in Europe and in the Pacific to support soldiers. She met with servicemen uh, in hospitals, took notes, and even contacted their families. There were some individuals that thought that she should stay at home and be a hostess and nothing else. That was not her. Eleanor Roosevelt's biggest accomplishments were the public stances that she took, especially about civil rights. She went to Alabama for a conference. She requested a chair of her own, placed it squarely between the aisle for whites and the aisle for blacks. It was a very visible way to take a stand in opposition to the Jim Crow laws in the South. The work that she did for equality continued after she was no longer First Lady. Harry Truman appointed her as delegate to the United Nations, and she was absolutely instrumental in drafting the UN Declaration of Human Rights, which still informs human rights around the world today. 